Good evening. New Mexicans continue to take part in Black Lives Matter protests, including multiple events today here in Albuquerque. From what our crews saw, each event remained peaceful while honoring George Floyd. News 13's Brady Wakayama is live in downtown Albuquerque with a look. Brady. Jackie, today was filled with unity and peace as demonstrators led at least two protests all over the metro, spanning from Civic Plaza to Roosevelt Park. In the end of the day, we're all one. You know, it's one thing, one community. So it does, it's not a white black thing. It's, it's everybody coming together. And the more we get everybody on one accord and one page, and the more we can push this movement. Tonight, hundreds of people traveled from the University in Central all the way to Roosevelt Park, many eventually signing a petition for Clifton White's release, who organizers say was arrested during Albuquerque's first protest a week and a half ago. According to demonstrators, the big message from tonight was hope. Earlier in the evening, New Mexicans gathered for the Standing Up for Our Children protest at Civic Plaza. It gave many black youth a chance to give their thoughts on the community. Being a black father, being a victim of, of police brutality myself, uh, I definitely had to show the love and come out and, and support, definitely. It means a lot. Several streets throughout downtown Albuquerque were closed today, but the protests have already wrapped up. And APD told us today's protests were quiet and peaceful. Jackie, back to you. Okay, thanks, Brady. One event last Sunday didn't end until after 10. The city says people who were not at the protest were the ones who vandalized downtown Albuquerque for hours into the early morning.